today we will start with the uh, machine learning concepts so i'll just give you a brief uh, introduction to the machine learning uh, with this, some slides okay so machine learning is pure, uh, purely uh, where data is the key so all to, uh, all the way uh, learning from a data so without data we can't do anything or uh, the amount of data required for the machine learning uh, is obviously uh, accurate as well as um, uh, we give more if we give the more records to the or more data to the machine learning model it will give the better accuracy or uh, the the data should be more accurate okay. mm -hmm. so this is the uh, are you sharing screen by the way yeah already shared Uh, one second, one second, one second. Uh, okay, here. Yeah. yeah, I can see. No. Okay. Hmm. So this is the definition uh, given by a famous uh, machine expert, a uh, machine learning expert, Tom Mission. So a computer program said to learn from experience E with mm -hmm. respect to some task T and some performance measure P. If the performance of task T as measured by p improves with experience e okay so here we can say that this is a small example so baby is trying to walk by different in di with the different uh, situations okay so we can consider here learning to walk is the task okay then what is the performance then how we measure the performance uh, how the baby is balancing while walking in a different situations okay and we we will consider the experience here as walking in a uh, different uh, situations so it is suitable to a data like we will give a data in a in different uh, different different situation so that uh, the machine uh, or the the algorithm will learn accurately and it gives Uh, a good performance so that is what the machine learning is there are some few more examples like uh, when we say a playing a chess okay mm -hmm. so in playing chess uh, what is the uh, performance we will generally measure so percentage of games won against the opponent number of and what is the experience like playing games against the opponent or itself so that is with the and this is the small example we will see a, a proper data set example uh, this is another example uh, which is uh, term uh, which is categorize categorization of uh, like you can say the classification example so categorizing emails uh, as a spam or not spam as the task then how will measure the performance the percentage of emails classified correctly that is what the that is the performance basically and what what is the experience we can consider is different emails uh, or different types of emails uh, uh, which contains a particular uh, keywords or you can say the data Okay, spam, which gives you a spam or not spam emails. Mm -hmm. uh, with respect to a deep learning, uh, recognizing dog in an image is the is suppose a task. Then percentage of times dogs were recognized in an image uh, is is we can say that the per uh, performance and uh, experience is nothing but number of time uh, the photos with the dogs. Okay, so. Uh, how uh, the types of dog we can give in a different different photos and with the um, uh, machine trying to learn with the help of that and it recognize the dog accurately mm -hmm. so this is what the uh, basics of uh, machine learning we can say uh, this this is very important uh, before we start with actual algorithms okay so there's something called as training the model and finally 
inferencing okay so training is nothing but we have uh, so uh, we generally collect a data from a source uh, maybe source you can say that uh, uh, which is live customer or maybe some there are some open sites where uh, we will get the data for you know understanding purpose mm -hmm. so once we get the data we will just uh, divide that data into two parts so we can say that uh, training data and test data so these are the two parts basically okay so we will take a training data and we'll pass it to the learning algorithm okay and learning algorithm gives you a model okay mm -hmm. and we will use that model uh, to test a particular data which we have kept for testing purpose and we we found uh, we will we, we'll get the accuracy okay so training means we have to train the model train the uh, learning algorithm okay which gives you one equation which is nothing but a, a trained equation uh, so in in this case y is equal to wx plus b is the uh, very famous model in this case while learning or while training this equation <laughs> learns two parameters like w and b it gives you the value of w and b and here in testing we will pass the value of x and uh, we will compare with for the accuracy so that okay. is what the part of training and testing okay once the model is accurate or you can say the not 100% accurate we will gain the accuracy uh, so once the accurate is model we will inference that model that is nothing but a live production okay so here we will pass the new data to the model and the model will predict or maybe classify so these are the basic steps to understand the machine learning thing so initially we have to uh, get the data uh, divide it into a two part training and test we pass the training data to the learning algorithm learning al algorithm learns on over the iteration and it gives you a model okay so uh, in ai the term model means it's a, a kind of equation which learns the uh, parameters uh, value okay and we test it over the test data here we can get the accuracy once the model is accurate we'll inference it so these are the steps in uh, machine learning or uh, similar to uh, in deep learning so okay so got the thing uh, this so things are clear small okay. small things so that's the reason i have very minimal questions okay yeah, because I've done some few of these linear regression, logic regression, all I've implemented on the for example. Okay, okay, okay. For example, I can tell you what I know, and then maybe you can go, you can know what I know. Okay, uh, okay. What I've done is I've done gradient descent algorithm I've used mm -hmm. uh, to do some small models. Okay. Uh, and I've used linear regression as well as logistic regression with cost function, accuracy, prediction, inference, and all of this I have. I have some idea, like like very minimal, but I have some idea. Okay, and okay. All of that, nothing is uh, Python, although. Okay, okay. So you yeah. have already done this in Python. Yeah, yeah. I also know what is bias, variance, overfitting, okay. underfitting, mm -hmm. and all of those things. I've, I have some. Uh, I have some experience. I can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, fine. That's the reason the questions are like that. Sort of. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, please continue. Sorry. Okay. Okay. No problem. So I'll just go through it then first. Uh, so training a model means uh, we have some features and the target variable. Okay. So here you can say that. So this in training we will train on the number of uh, rows like the amount is very small like zero and the value of y is zero one 
versus two and two and four likewise and we test it over this value like three then what will be the uh, model learned by a particular uh, from this data is nothing but this so y is equal to 2x yeah okay so here we can say that this is the model trend yeah yeah i, and, I understand this yeah yeah and these are the different types uh, which you already know like supervisor oh, no, these are